That was actually, yeah, that was one of the most exciting parts because like, I knew that they were going to get me out. And it was always like, how are you going to, how, what person are you going to reveal it? And then it's like, going to go to actually get me around. Like, and I was like, is she going to break out? Is she going to be saved? So it's, it's really, uh, it's cool. It's cool because she was, you know, there as bait, basically, for all these years. And now, um, Knows with, I don't know, she basically has no way to be the one in control now. I was sort of that bit that she could put in front of her and, hey, don't, don't shoot me. But, oh, uh, God, how is it not different? Really, it doesn't even, it doesn't even feel like, um, you know, just reading the first couple of episodes. It, um, yeah, it, it, it feels like basically a third dimension now, really. Because everyone's perception of where they are and who they are is completely different. So therefore, you know, if your your own perception is different, then everything else is like, oh, uh, everything I've believed for X amount of years is um, just not even true or real or even their own history. So is that like almost a reboot of the characters? Yeah, it, it is, and it's all it's it's a reboot in a way, but it's also a um, a lot of reflection, I think, too, because even though they've had pasts that have been, you know, everyone's had these sort of created memories in, in the entire time of being in Storybrooke, there's still that part of them that's true to themselves. So I think it's, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting look physiologically, really, of two two parts of someone, one that's been completely manufactured and then there's the other part that's been there all along since birth and that's sort of intersection of what's going on right now. Uh, well, you know, starting off obviously with, with Rumpel and she's, he's the only one that uh, she knows there or even knows who he is. So, um, it's going to be a, a long, uh, <laughs> Quite confusing journey for her. Um, not only being in this completely, you know, foreign world, land, town, country, <laughs> whatever she perceives it to be at this point, he's the only person that she has a clue of who really is. So, you know, it'll be an interesting ride for finding out everyone's story. I don't think she, she, I mean, Belle's by no means somebody to sort of BS anyone, so there's no reason why she uh, isn't completely truthful when she's talking to him and saying she loves him. And, you know, it's really the only one love she ever has had. It's that whole guest on thing.